Good morning, everybody. I uh, hope everybody's doing okay. I uh, sure miss all my littles. Um, looking forward to our next class meeting where I can see you guys. Um, today I'm going to read The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. There's a picture of him on the back. This book is for Nikki. There once was a tree. See this tree? And she loved a little boy. Every day the boy would come and he would gather her leaves. See how he's collecting all the leaves? What do you think he's gonna do with them? He made a crown and he would play king of the forest. You guys ever done that? Made something out of leaves? And he would climb her trunk. and swing from her branches. See how he's swinging up there? And eat her apples. <clears throat> and they would play hide and go seek. See the trees tapping on him? He's hiding behind the rock. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. That tree really has a lot of uses, huh? And the boy loved the tree. Very much. And the tree was happy. See how he carved, carved his initials into the tree? But time went by. See how that little boy's growing up? And the boy grew older. So look, now he has a girlfriend. He's by the tree and he carved more initials into the tree. And the tree was often alone. So where did the little boy go? He's growing up. He probably went out to live his life. Then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said, come boy, come climb up my trunk, swing from my branches and eat my apples, play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree. I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, sell them in the city, and you will have enough money, and then you will be happy. You think that's gonna make the boy happy? We'll see. So he climbs up there, look at all the apples that fell. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away, and the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy and he said, come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children. And so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house, and then you will be happy. This tree really wants this little boy to be happy, huh? And so the boy cut off the branches and carried them away to build his house. So look here. 
He cut down all the tree's branches and he's going to take them and make a house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy he could hardly speak. Come, boy, he whispered. Come and play. I am too old to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. See, the little boy's an old man now. And so the boy cut down her trunk, made a boat, and sailed away. Look at here. So he left the, the initials he carved, and then he took the other one. And the tree was happy, but not really. Look at what this tree is now. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on the branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. I can't climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish I could give you something. But I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. So this tree has given everything for this little boy. I don't need much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. An old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down, sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. So what did you think about that? That tree gave a lot to that boy. He really took care of him, huh? All right, hope you guys have a good day. I will see you later. Bye.